Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire. This is CL Vintage Finds. It's Friday and we are going to call it, I don't know, somebody else is using Flip It Friday and although we're not flipping it, we're going to go find stuff to flip. So I am headed out to a couple different thrift shops, including a Goodwill. I'm hoping to get some filming done for you. Fingers crossed, double fingers crossed because um, Fridays can be busy at all the thrift stores, like really busy, like too busy to film. So I'm hoping that we can get it done. There's an estate sale I'm gonna check out. There's an auction later on tonight, but hopefully I get this video up and posted before then. So come on along, join me, and let's get to thrifting. Okay, we are at the Goodwill in Gilderland, New York. That's in Albany County. And it was very, very busy today. I want to ask everybody um, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my content, please remember to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified each time I drop a new video. And I'm going to also ask you to stick around the end today. Um, I don't usually post something at the very end of the video, but I decided to today. So stick around for my message from my heart to hopefully your heart. Um, and let's figure out where we're going from here on this channel. But thought that piece was really cool. I will say that the prices I thought today at this particular Goodwill were really high. I mean, some of them were consistent, like the dishes and plates are always consistent. I thought this pattern was pretty, but I can give you an example. I have some Hummel plates in my booth. I've never sold one of them from my booth. Um, I have them for $8 each. They're Hummel collector's plates from the 70s and early 80s. I sell them for $8 each. They come with their original boxes and packaging. And this Goodwill had those same plates, just two, for I think $18.99 each, no boxes. So I thought that was a little high. But I do try to show you as I'm going through the store, I really tried to go slow for you today, despite the fact that it was really busy in there and wanted you to be able to see pricing on everything. So, uh, did I say this already? The inventory today was really diminished and maybe that's because there were so many people there. It was just so busy. The parking lot was completely full. The, the, the store was full. There was a lot of people and that was you know consistently my experience every place I stopped today. So, alrighty. So let's see. I also <laughs> filmed a couple of times at this location in the wrong direction. So I had to um, get rid of those. So unfortunately, I didn't get the whole store like I would have liked to. But, you know, I got a lot of it. You can see what's there. I thought that piece was really pretty. Um, you can see what's not there, you know? So, you know, part of the reason I started doing these Goodwill videos was specifically so if you are local and there's something you collect or something you're looking for and you see it in one of my videos, then you'll know to pop there as soon as possible this weekend and grab it while it's there. I thought those dishes were so pretty. Uh, I just wanted you to see... Um, these Boyd's Bear, I think they were from Kirkland's. So, uh, oh, they're just, you know, Kirkland brand. That's what it is, but they're Boyd's Bears. So, I just wanted you to see the pricing on those. My cat, my Carrie's crawling on me while I'm trying to do this, so it's making it difficult. You'll probably hear her purring any minute. She is she is a Siamese and they purr very loud. So she's got her, her face right up next to the microphone. Those are Falls Graph, very pretty. Now you can probably hear Mariah. 
she's really purring up a storm and she's trying to get me to pet her. But unfortunately, the way that this program works is I have to keep my finger on the microphone if I want to record. Okay, I thought this set was really pretty too. I love the irises, which is what I think those are. So, I think you can see, like, you know, in the other rows and stuff, it's a lot of finagling around people to be in carts. I've talked about this before. This particular Goodwill, they have, like, the largest carts ever in small aisles. So, it's really hard to maneuver around people. I think I get aggravated every time I go to this Goodwill. But the other Goodwill wasn't open this morning. Um, they open up in the afternoon on Fridays. So I wanted to make sure I got some filming done at a Goodwill because I know that's what you guys seem to like the most. I really, I've, I've, I haven't sold a lot of that milk glass, that particular style. I have a lot of it. And that was, I think, $9.99. So I thought that price I, I think the pricing is getting higher. And, you know, why wouldn't it or shouldn't it be? They run Goodwill like a business, as well they should. And um, clearly, the stores are jam-packed. And I mean jam-packed. And people are clearly buying stuff. So if people are buying it and they can keep asking higher and higher prices... Why wouldn't they? So um, all of that makes perfect business sense to me. And I'll say this, and I think I've said it before. In my opinion, a majority of the people in the Goodwill are flippers, you know. So and not all of them, but a lot of them. And, and, you know, you can just tell. So... Take it for what it is. I would love to hear, you know, if you're from around the country or around the world, what's happening at your Goodwills? Please tell me. I'm dying to know. So this, I think, this is, you know, it's kind of like smaller framed pieces, stuff like that. Some nice stuff, but definitely, I, you know, I'd love to know the flippers that are at the Goodwills buying, they have to be selling at Good or at, um, on eBay, etc. because unless you're in a, a higher end antique mall or, you know, vintage mall, you're just not going to be able to make enough money on it to make it worth your while at some of these prices. I thought these were really pretty. I think they were $9.99 each. I need new glasses. Maybe that's what I'll do this afternoon. But, um, I don't know. I liked, I thought that picture was kind of cool. But definitely, I loved this frame. It was an old frame with a convex glass. Um, but I think it was 40 bucks. I, I thought I focused in on that, but I, maybe I didn't as well as I thought I did. Maybe I come back to it. I don't think I do. Sorry, guys. I really thought I focused in on that. I, it, it was, I think it was 60 bucks. This is the very end. I just wanted you to see this is their upfront location where they usually have their higher priced stuff. And so I just wanted you to see the higher priced items and what they're asking for those items. So, and we're almost on to our next location. Those were made in Italy. I think they were $20 each. So, Okay, now we're at Treasures, and this is probably my favorite section. Balik, Lennox, Fenton Art Glass. Um, I thought that 
This place is usually a Wedgwood, more Lennox. Um, this, their prices are usually really good. And in a couple of days, all of their housewares go down to 50% off. But I thought even at 50% off, it was a little high. Um, these guys are usually pretty reasonable. And they also, uh, you know, will kind of work with you. Like I've been there, I haven't even asked about pricing and sometimes they've just offered they're like that's too much and they've they've reduced the pricing but i don't think everybody at the shop has that ability to to do that you know um, i thought that was a cool piece they usually have some nice pieces in this little cabinet as well This place wasn't as crowded. I've seen it pretty crowded the last couple times I was there. It wasn't too crowded today. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm really trying to point out pricing for you. I really wanted to not do voiceover. It's a lot easier for me if I don't do voiceover because then I can tell you what the pricing is right then and there on the spot. But it was real. There were people in there today, customers that were, you know, definitely super duper loud. And uh, there was, you wouldn't have even have been able to hear me. That's how loud they were. And some of them were on their phones talking to people super loud. Some of them were talking to each other. So, you know, the conditions are what the conditions are, and you just never know what that's going to be. So I wanted you to see some of these dish sets and the pricing. Again, people asked me to slow down and to really show you the pricing on things. So I'm looking at literally a one inch by two inch screen when I do this back. And so it's really hard to see what the pricing is along with doing, you know, like I said, I need to keep my finger on the button to do the voiceover. So I can't really pinch in and check out the pricing and all that. And I was at a lot of shops today. Like I said, I really do hope you stick around and watch my little snippet at the end so you can see where we're at with this channel. And, you know, I, I, I do this channel for you. So I hope you'll participate and let me know your thoughts and where you want to see it go. A lot of Noritake out and about today. Some of this was Syracuse, China. I can't remember right now. Um, I stop, I'm stop. i stopping buying Noritake because I don't think I've really sold any. As much as I love it, much like I love Lennox, I'm not sure that I've sold any. So, I don't think there's too much. Uh, no, there's, I think, one other section here, I think. There, well, that's nice and big, so you can tell that set was 75 I think when you're watching this on a bigger screen, you're going to be able to see the pricing, you know, even without me referencing it. So. I like this shop, and the people are really nice that work there. When you donate to them, they give you a, a credit for 50% off one item. And they seem to always be available to take donations, which many of the other shops aren't. I think this is the last little section that I did. Um, I think most of these cups were, you know, for a cup and saucer, like, you know, five dollars. Which is usually, you know, depending on what it is, what I sell for. So it's hard for me to buy for that price. Some really pretty things. I love that first little section in this shop with all the Lennox and Bleak and Fenton and all that. That's like always one of my favorite little displays to look in. Those were from Hawaii, little pineapple cups. You can poke a straw through. I thought they were cute. I actually saw one of those at one of the Salvation Armies today, too. So.
Hey guys, me again. Just wanted to give you some thoughts on my day. I went to six, six thrift stores today and, you know, I don't know what's going on. I came home with nothing and I'm really bummed about that. So maybe this is why I'm feeling this way. I don't know, but I never wanted this channel to be like just goodwill thrifting. Um, I'm spending a lot of time at thrift stores lately and I feel like a majority of the time it's a waste of time because I come home with nothing and, um, I, I mean, it, it, it's not fun for you. It's not fun for me. But the other things that I wanted to tell you about my observations from today is the thrift stores were the most packed I've ever seen them. Maybe because it's Friday, maybe because the weather's a little bit nicer today. I don't know the reason. I can only tell you what is. And um, I, I, at one of the Salvation Armies, I did have some stuff in my basket. And then when I went to check out, there were 30 people. I counted them, 30 people in line. And so I went and put my stuff back on the shelves and left. And then my favorite Goodwill that I've filmed at multiple times um, ended up not opening up until one today, which Google indicated that, but I called the store and they indicated that they were open. I mean, a live person didn't answer. It was in their hours. So I went all the way out to Troy, which is kind of a hike from up in Clifton Park where I was. And, and the store was actually closed. So that was kind of a bust. I was bummed about that. Um, so, I, and then the next Goodwill, which is where I filmed today, you'll see it. It was jam-packed, jam-packed. And the shelves were kind of bare, which I'm sure that's because it was jam-packed. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to continue... Um, I try to get Goodwill in because you guys seem to watch them. Let me know your thoughts. Please drop me comments. Do you want to keep seeing me do Goodwills? Is it, do you like watching them if I end up with nothing? Um, let me know your thoughts. Please help me. I'm, I'm begging for your help. Um, cause I want to make this channel valuable for you. Um, I want to make sure you're getting value out of it. Um, and if, and if you're not, then I'm certainly not going to keep doing it. I don't know where I go from here. So I do like my haul videos. I, I really do. But my hauls primarily lately have been from auctions. That's where I'm doing well. You know, maybe I'll check with some of the auctioneers if I can film at auctions and see if you guys like that. I don't know. I don't, like I said, I just don't know. But I wanted to wrap up. I wanted to get your thoughts. Um, let me know what you think, what you want to see, and I will accommodate. If you want me to keep filming at Goodwills, I will do it for you, even though I'm really not enjoying it at this point. It's kind of a colossal waste of time. There's other things I could have been doing today besides running all, all over, you know, the capital region going to thrift stores, and be, I don't like shopping. If I was going shopping for myself and pulled into a parking lot and saw that it was jam-packed full, I'd leave. That's just the way I am. But I'm trying to get the filming in for the channel. And so that's why I, I go in even when it's busy. And so, I don't know. Like I said, please give me your thoughts. Please let me know what you want to see. Let me know if there's something else you want. I'd like to show you more of the antique trail, but those videos don't get viewed. So um, there's not really a point of me doing that if, you know, it's not, you know, I want to see people also enjoy it and I want to see them get viewed. I want that for the stores. I want them because that's what helps my channel grow is more views so um, let me know if there's something I'm missing, something you're seeing on other channels, you know, in other areas that you'd like to see me do. I'm here to accommodate you. And um, that's all. I hope you guys are having a great Friday, hopefully better than mine. And let me know your thoughts and opinions. I want to hear it. Have a great one. Have a great weekend. And until next time, enjoy your day.